Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a seven card spread here. This is going to be for Valley. I'm sorry. <laughs> for Lori Vallow. These are her thoughts and feelings now that Doomsday didn't happen. Now that she killed her kids because Doomsday was supposed to happen and she was supposed to meet him on the other side, but that didn't happen. And is she mad at Chad? Because she had uh, an opportunity to go to his hearing, but she didn't show up. So why didn't she show up? Is she mad at him because Doomsday didn't happen? Like he said it was going to happen. She killed her kids for nothing because he was he told her that Doomsday was coming July 22nd to kill the kids and you'll meet them on the other side when the world ends. We'll all be together. Okay, that didn't happen. Okay, so what are her thoughts and feelings now about all this? That his predictions didn't happen and is she mad at him? So I shuffled the cards for a long time and um, I pulled seven cards. We're going to start with the first one, which is the Ace. Oh, you know what, y'all? Let me put my glasses on because I can't see the cards if I don't put my glasses on. Hold on. Okay. So we're going to start with the Ace of Cups. Most of her cards are in the reverse, if you notice. So, you know, very negative for her. So this is the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So we all know in the upright uh, position that this is the hand of the universe offering you, you know, great things, a new beginning, love, and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this is what he offered her, because this is taking me through the beginning. So this is what he offered her. He offered her a cup of love with everything that comes with it, a new life, new um, adventure, uh, a new beginning. Oh, we're going to be together on the other side. Yeah, they're going to be together on the other side, but it's not going to be heaven. They're going to be in hell. Okay, um, this is also the, uh, could mean for children, uh, this is one of the cards that means birth, a new birth or a birth of a child. For them, it was a new birth of a relationship, okay? But it fell in the reverse. Now it fell in the reverse because um, the energy that they had, they no longer have, or she no longer has, actually. Um, you see, the emotion now is running out of the cup because it's upside down, so the cup is going to be empty. Um, her heart is not as open towards love as it should be, and I don't think his is either. Um, I'm also feeling insecurity in a, rela in a new relationship because their relationship is new. So this, this card literally also means that there's insecurity in a new relationship, and she's feeling that now. Okay, um, also this this card represents like fear of starting over or fear of um, fear of the person that's arriving in your life. So I'm, I'm feeling that she's feeling a little fear now. Um, I'm seeing that she's preoccupied in her mind, uh, thinking about all the stuff that he told her, why it didn't come to pass. Um, I am feeling that she's having a little bit of low self-esteem and um, just not herself, of course, because she's locked up. Um, I'm seeing that she's extremely bored and she's tired of the conditions around her. She doesn't want to be there anymore. I mean, who does? Um, she has a desire to, she wants to get out and start over, maybe not with him, but just start over over she wants to start over i'm hearing that over and over but right now nothing's going to start over for her because of you know where she's at lots of delays and frustrations with this card in the reverse this card also means loss of a child when it's in the reverse loss of a child what's in the upright is a birth having a baby or a birth of some new kind there's four there's at least four cards in the deck that represent you know, you're having a baby or a birth, and then there's at least two or three that are losing a child. So this card literally represents losing a child, which she did because she killed him, okay? I don't care what excuse they come up with, what anybody says on the news. She committed the act. She's the one that hit the kids on the head. She's the one that killed them. Alex was there and helped her get rid of the body. Just like I said, three months before 
in my very first reading before they found the bodies it was about three or four months in my very first reading I did it showed that the kids were dead and I said they were underneath something and lo and behold they were underneath the fire pit okay that's what I kept seeing they were underneath a small compartment underneath something okay I kept hearing the word rock or stone well there was uh, you know concrete there so they were underneath that concrete okay so now we have the um, eight of wands in the reverse so uh, this is love rushing in in the upright position so yeah Chad had a lot of love rushing in for her they had it for each other in the very beginning um, you know their relationship moved fast she was completely blown away with him um, she was completely infatuated with him and she believed everything he said like to the very to the very end she just believed every single little thing like she if he said jump she would jump if he said crawl she would crawl I mean that's how bad she had it for him just there a lot of infatuation um, this card, when you get it in the upright, it means a new relationship. So they had a new relationship, uh, a change in environment. And yes, they had a change in environment because they moved, they went away. Um, a lot of happiness. They, they did have happiness with each other in the beginning. And it means that they were moving in a different direction together. It, this also means a travel. This is the card of travel. And yes, they traveled to Hawaii and they traveled different places. New love interest. They had all this stuff. This All this literally happened. But now it fell in the reverse. So in the reverse, it means their journey is stopped. It's postponed. And no more traveling. No more. Your love interest is, is waning. Um, your journey is postponed. Now the arrows... Um, show these arrows show conflict and jealousy. I'm I'm hearing conflict and jealousy. I'm hearing um, that someone needs to control the unruly emotions. She has a lot of unruly emotions towards the whole situation. She's apprehensive. She's insecure. This this is what this card literally means. Um, she she's trying not to let her feelings get out of control and she feels a lot of anger because anger develops when this card comes towards the other person that offered you love so she's trying to control her anger because what he promised her did not happen he he's literally the one that told her that she needed to kill the kids to meet them on the other side that they would be safer over there and she would meet them on the other side when july doomsday came it did not happen. So now she's feeling a much, much anger. Yeah, so she needs to, like, slow down her thoughts because her thoughts are driving her crazy. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> what happened to Doomsday? Okay, so now we have the magician in, in the reverse. All her cards are in the reverse except for this last one. In the upright, it means that you can manifest anything. And we have all signs here. We have the pentacles, the cups, the swords, and the wands. And you see how the um, magician is holding up his wand. That means power, a lot of power. And there is the infinity sign. So that means you can have uh, all this power for a long time brand new day so that's how they felt in the beginning that's how she felt in the beginning that's this is literally chad say, showing all his power he sh he showed her all his power uh, you know brand new day I'm, I, we can manifest anything if you come with me be together okay but now it fell in the reverse because why did it fall in the reverse well because he's a big lying stupid cheater <laughs> that's why he, he lied and you know showed her things that did not happen so now the tables have turned the tables upside down there's no more stability in his words there no there's no more um there's no more how do you say it truth to what he has to say so, and she knows that now she she's begin excuse me she's beginning to open her eyes and see that everything he said is not true was not true and she's beginning to think in her head well what happened you know, she's got this big question mark in her head. What what happened? I thought Doomsday was coming. I thought me and him were going to be together forever. What happened? She keeps saying that to herself over and over. It hasn't quite hit her yet. It's beginning to hit her that um, she was manipulated into, you know, doing away with the kids. But it, it's coming. 
And this card is literally like your mother would say, you can do better than that. And now she's beginning to feel those feelings like, you know, what have I done? I can do better than this. What have I done? So this is what's going through her mind right now. Okay. Um, this right here also means that you haven't realized everything. Okay. So th the realization of what she did to her children is coming. It has not hit her yet. But it's going to hit her really, really hard. And when when it does, oh, my God, everybody better get out of the way. Okay, so that's what this card represents. Okay, so now we have the strength in the reverse. Okay, so in the upright meaning, it shows, you know, the lady. And this is, again, a brand new day. Or yellow always means a brand new day. And um, the lady is trying to shut the lion's mouth because life roar comes in roaring this is what this means life is roaring or whatever problem you have is roaring at you you're trying to uh, shut it down shut it down and again the infinity sign so these were all her thoughts she thought that everything she was doing was going to last forever that's why the infinity sign is here in all these cards she thought that she was going to last forever with chad that everything was going to be you know for a lifetime but that did not happen so again we're seeing the infinity sign, but it's in the reverse. So she no longer has the strength that she once had as far as um, believing, you know, everything that was going to happen. Her strength is leaving her, uh, especially in her mind mentally. She is not feeling uh, powerful anymore. She's not feeling strong anymore. She's feeling weak mentally, okay? Um I see in the reverse, this means that fear is getting to you. So she's beginning to be, become a, afraid. It means that the fear is out of control. Um, it's out of control in her mind. It's, it's be, it, the fear is mounting up. Um, she does feel out of control because fear is taking over. She's, feel, she's beginning to feel the fear. When she first went to jail, she didn't feel that kind of fear. Okay, but now she's feeling it. Now she's feeling it. Okay, especially now that Chad's in jail too. See, first she had him out there and she thought, oh, my knight in shining armor is going to come rescue me. But now he's in jail too. So now the fear is real. Sorry, y'all, my hand is shaking. Um, uh, so she's feeling a bit out of control, very confused, very confused. Um, there's lots of confusion because her results, again, it's telling me the same thing. The results that she thought were going to happen didn't. She's got intense, intense emotions that are leading to uncontrolled action. So she might be acting weird there. People are beginning to notice there that she's not acting quite herself. Um, she's also paying too much attention to, like, material side of life, physical side of life, instead of, you know, facing the problem head on. She's thinking about all that kind of stuff, if that makes sense. Um, and the fear is so overwhelming. She's beginning to get really overwhelmed and out of control. Okay, so she, she doesn't have any more strength mentally. Okay, so now we have, again, the three of swords in the reverse. Every, every one of her cards is in the reverse. So this is a heartbreak, okay? So this is her heartbreak. This represents her and the kids, okay, so now she's feeling a little bit of heartbreak because of what she has done to her children, okay, she's feeling heartbreak because her plan didn't come out, she's feeling heartbreak because um, someone broke her heart, which is Chad literally broke her heart by telling her to do all these things, it didn't work out, so now her heart is broken because they're separated, you see how the sky is raining, gloomy, and this represents three parties. Um, I'm feeling that this represents Chad and the kids. Also, it could be Alex and, you know, her and Chad. Um, but it's in the reverse. So, in the reverse, I feel like Chad is going to try to apologize to her. Because in the reverse, this means an apology is coming. Okay? But the apology is not sincere. When you get this in the reverse, it means someone is going to apologize to you. But they don't really mean it. They're just doing it just for the sake of apologizing, get you back on their side. Maybe they want what you were offering them or whatever, but it's not a, a sincere apology. And, I've, and I'm sure that she's not going to, not that she's not going to accept that, she's just not going to believe him anymore. She's getting to the point to where she's going to be like, mm, you know, I don't know. Why do I say that? Because look what's next to it, the two of cups in the reverse. Okay, so I do see 
her not wanting to accept the apology when and if he apologized because I do see that coming he's going to tell her I'm sorry you know I was mistaken uh, oops you know I got the date wrong he might say something like that oops maybe it's in a, in a few years from now in July 22nd excuse me y'all I'm getting the hiccups again maybe it's um a few years from now oops that's how he, that's how his apology is going to be and she's going to be like mm-mm Okay, so next we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Again, this is, you know, him offering her love. There's the infinity sign again. Because that's what he offered her. He offered her forever. You know, she, he reached out to her. She reached out to him. They had this love affair. Um, they, there's their home in the background. And he offered her forever. But it's in the reverse now. Because it, that forever didn't pan out according to his plans right so when you get it in the reverse i'm seeing sorry y'all i don't know why i got the hiccups all of a sudden it's got to be the energy from these cards because i don't get the hiccups uh let me get a drink hold on okay um so in the reverse this means the couple has disconnected they disconnected there's a there's a misunderstanding um, the water's running out of the cup, so that line up above has no more power. See, there's a line here that gives them power, the strength. That's, this is the line here. This is the strength card. So they have a lot of strength, but now the lion has no power, no more strength. He can't give them strength. Um, there's no power there to protect, for, protect them. She's feeling no protection. Also, there's no balance anymore. There's disagreements in love and disrespect, misunderstandings, uh, the friendship is turning sour i'm hearing hearing all these words emotions are running away with her especially her i don't think he really gives a hoot one way or another the only thing he's interested in is what he can gain for himself so i'm got to read fast i'm running out of time so yeah so this is the close of loss of balance loss of a close relationship she's feeling all these things i got to read fast y'all okay so now we have the five of Swords, this is a scattered energy. So I, I see in the future they are going to be like this. Scattered energy, bickering, fighting amongst each other. You see how the waves are going back and forth. They're not going in any direction. These people are fighting amongst each other. So they're going to be like that in the future. They're going to remain married for a while because they only have each other. So they're going to depend on each other. But now the doomsday didn't happen and, and she's realizing all this stuff. They're going to be in this energy here. This is their energy because it's going to be for a while when they're allowed to talk or if they're allowed to talk. If they allow to email, because I know that I don't know I don't know if they're allowed to email or not, but I know that nowadays they can email each other. I'm feeling a lot of scattered energy for them. There's not going to be no agreements for them. There's going to be scattered energy. You did this. You said that. You promised this. You promised that. It didn't happen. I'm mad at you. Blah, blah, blah. So on and so forth. And that's the energy she's going to remain in for a long time with him and vice versa. All right, y'all. I'm going to go because my video is fixing to end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, please, please, please comment and watch the commercials for at least 30 seconds. That helps my channel. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the information down below beware 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 of fake tarot card readers i have never seen so many in all my life until i got on youtube and there is so many oh my god beware all right see you next time bye